technology and advancements. In these slides you will learn or learn more about the ancient Egyptian technology and advancements. We will cover the topics of agriculture, farming, transportation with a focus on boats in the Nile, and finally trade. We hope you learn something new and enjoy the slides. Agriculture by me. The Egyptians made considerable advancements in the agriculture in agriculture. They made traps to hunt ducks in the Nile, and they domesticated animals. Like the cows we have today, they had two types of cattle, one for meat and one for dairy. Um, similar, most, similar, most ancient, similar to most ancient civilizations, Egyptian farmers were a low class in the social hierarchy, but essential in the trading system. With the items farmers produced, they had a surplus of varied food that other civilizations did not have. The Egyptians also connected religion to farming. They thought if they had a bad harvest, it was because the gods were angry at them, and the Egyptians took both agriculture and religion very seriously. This picture right here is what farming would have looked like. As you can see in the background, there's a boat on the Nile, which was important to trade and transportation. The boat is back there. Animals in agriculture. The Egyptians started to domesticate more animals. They used cattle as livestock to get two different things, dairy and meat. The Egyptians also used traps to capture animals like ducks and spring traps. Once, duck, once, once the traps were set in, in the long grass by the Nile, the ducks, when the ducks waded onto the river, uh, onto the bank, they, and stepped in the trap, the spring trap would spring up and capture them. Uh, cattle were also used as farm animals. They did work like trampling corn fields that had been cut to remove the grain from the ear of corn. Of course, they had to water, they had to water the crops. But how did they do this? You may ask. They used canals. These canals led from the Nile River to the crops. This is how they watered crop the crops. These, the top crops right here, would be crops that would grow year round. This is just some of them. They would be barley, sesame, wheat, corn, and flax. There was many more. And these would be seasonal crops. I don't know. And these would be some seasonal crops. I'm not really for sure what seasons most of these are. But we have peppermint. Black pepper and cotton were all seasonal crops, and there's also many more. I'm going to turn it over to Eli for transportation. Transportation in ancient Egypt made many adventures throughout its lifetime. Some of the most important being the boat, the chariot, and riding by donkey. This helped in many ways, such as transporting goods, people, etc. Most Egyptian towns didn't have roads as they relied on mainly the Nile for transportation and through, the, uh, though they used some on their vehicles. One of the many ways we stayed in an advance of transportation and trade in ancient Egypt was boats, or with boats. These would help the ancient Egyptians in many ways, and they're still used today. The primary, the primary, sorry, the primary purpose for the boats and ships was trade, but they could also be used for activities such as fishing, getting food, transportation, and even recreation. The pharaohs, they they were also used to uh, use religiously, as they were said to guide pharaohs into the afterlife when they were buried with them. This helped, uh, <coughs> the first Egyptian boats were made with reeds that were made from papyrus, a food material that was very abundant throughout ancient Egypt. As reeds are hollow, they as reeds are hollow, they float. This means the Egyptians can go long distances quickly. Um, the main way they would move the boat manually was using a sail and a paddle, which gave extra staffing to help them move. The donkey was one of the most important animals for transportation and item transport in ancient Egypt. Not only that, but they could also be used to plow 
plow and field. They were primarily used in, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, the um, Madi period. I, Egyptian donkeys were mostly ridden on top, but they could also be ridden uh, with chariots and wagons. Through, um, though made in ancient Mesopotamia, chariots, chariots were used in places like ancient Egypt as well. Chariots were primarily made of thin, primarily made of thin wood and slates and leather. Their primary, their primary purpose was to transport high power of people like priests or pharaohs, but they could also be used in war, like people would ride them using bows to, you know, kill other people in war. But they were also used, or this enabled them to ride into battle while also traversing with their own foe. I'm gonna hand it to Sam. Technology and trade. Trade is tied into technology by first being technology, as technology is defined as something that makes life easier. It allows people from, of different careers to get resources not made by them. For example, potters make pottery, so when they need food, they can trade their products to get things like bread. <coughs> pots, pots, pots. Not many advancements in technology with the general thought of trade. However, the products made either our technology or are made with it. Between 2600 and 2500 BCE, during the Old Kingdom, potters starting new, started using pottery wheels. These machines allowed for more refined and smooth outcomes. What they made with this were functional pottery, as ones you can store food and liquids in, and religious pottery. Religious pottery was also connect, was also something made instead of furniture. This is partly because of the belief that the of belief that the god of fertility Canum formed babies by sculpting them from clay and placing them in the womb of a mother. Religious texts gave him the name such as divine potter. Another reason they made religious pottery is for religious ceremonies and funerary purposes. Transportation with trade. Transportation was necessary with trade as people transport their items and themselves. Traders mostly used the Nile and other rivers from town to town or city to city. They of course used boats. As Eli said, boats, or as I'm going to restate, boats were vehicles that would flow through the water. Most of them would be made out of a reed called papyrus. The banks of the Nile River commonly, it was commonly found by the banks of the Nile River. They also traded with their local area. They traded pots, wine, bread, papyrus, and more. <coughs> Paper in Egypt. Paper in Egypt wasn't made with the wood like you would see maybe in the videos, but it, would, it was made with the reed called papyrus. The process of it was they would cut the reeds up, lay them side by side, and overlay them, uh, soak them in water, and then set them out in the sun to dry. Oops. Even, even the name papyrus is also associated with this, as there wasn't another name for it, and so it could get confusing if you're, if you're talking about the paper papyrus or the reed. Overall, we've branched out to each other's subtopics and even to other topics completely. But I do hope you have learned something or at least found a fun fact to share. Agriculture, transportation, and trade might also not have sounded m a much with the technology, but we, but we used it as a general categor categorization. We wish you a good day or afternoon and brush your teeth. <laughs> now we're going to be handing out some, Eli's going to be showing around the boats he made out of popsicle sticks, and Miles is going to be showing his, the, like, some, some housing. Uh, uh, my visual is just, uh, 
like crops and farming over time and seasons. So, so the like camera. Nile flooding to crops and then the Nile being more shallow. Uh, so Sammy's gonna head around and pass out this image, or smash out, shout out, or whatever. Uh, he's gonna pass out um, what uh, ancient pottery would look like. Yeah, what the pottery will would look like in ancient times. <coughs> 